Hello there guys, my name is Conscious Plays. In today's video, we are going to be doing how to uh, transfer your Minecraft PC worlds onto Minecraft Pocket Edition. Um, you're going to need Minecraft PC, um, uh, Minecraft uh, PC Edition, in order to do this because you need to download the world that you want to transfer to Pocket Edition. So if you have both of their versions, you're good to go. And if, yeah, you need a. Um, that's it pretty much, you need a USB to connect to your phone, if that's all done and all dusted, then we're sweet. So, what we need to do first is go and download uh, the Pocket Edition, oh damn it, sorry, sorry, Pocket Edition Stone um, Flat Map. Um, this link will be located in the description, you can download this easy, uh, you just click download, but you know, I'm not going to bother that because I've already got it downloaded, uh, which is, sorry, that's a video. Okay, so once you have the um, the download pocket edition stone flat map, um, what you're going to need to do is drag it to your desktop, uh, so it'd be easier to just see what's going on. So if you just drag it there onto your desktop, first what you're going to need is WinRAR. Um, I hope you most of you got this installed. Um, WinRAR is just you literally type WinRAR in uh, on the internet. Go to downloads, WinRAR, and you just download whatever your PC is, 64-bit or 32. Um, so you can find out what one you are by simply just going to your um, this PC, go to Acer or wherever yours is. You can see program files times 86. You see how the 32-bit has times 86 there? That's the one I need. But if you have 64-bit, then you need the times 64. Get what I mean? So you download that version, you click on that. Um, and it should just start downloading. As you can see, I've already downloaded it, so I don't need it. So, there you go. That's WinRAR. So, once you've downloaded WinRAR and installed it, what you're going to do is you're going to add this magical uh, thing on your desktop. What you're going to need, right, is just right click that and go extract here. And so, it'll extract the file onto your desktop, and then we should have a folder like this right here D don't mind phil jones just, I don't mind him there you go Rojo. anyway um once you've got that then that should be sweet the next thing we're gonna do is this okay so you're gonna need this um mc edit um this is pretty easy to set up and stuff all you do is go uh as again so if you're 32 bit 64 bit you should know by now 32 bits times 86 and 64 bits times 64 of your computer which you pretty much done already so you download the version which you need I've already downloaded it so I won't need to download it but all you do is click on it it takes you to, uh, it just downloads it instantly click it and you install it and then boom it should be done and everything's cool and dazzy and awesome but uh, I can exit off that because I don't need it uh, so anyway once you've done all of that stuff what we're gonna need to do now is launch oh no first sorry 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 you get the map you want. So, say we want to get, huh, let me just go to YouTube, because I know there's a lot of ma maps on YouTube. Uh, this is not a map. Let's go to pre-effect designs. We're gonna get a PC map, just to show you guys what's going on uh, over here. So say I want a pre-effect design stadium. The Olympic stadium. Say you want the Olympic stadium, West Ham stadium, on your pocket edition. Well, look no further. You wait because my internet's been rubbish. There you go. Incorporation with yes, don't really care. So hello everyone. It should be in the description. Um, just download any PC map you want, or you can use your own PC map. It's fine. Don't go through this method. I just you know, just how it is. So you go to download, download the stadium you want. Obviously, it should redirect you to a page. So click on this link. Whatever. It doesn't really matter. It should take you to either a media file link, maybe um, mega link, something like that. So once all that's done, you go download, obviously. If you guys know how to put maps onto your world, don't bother watching this. Uh, so you should download londonstadium.rar. It should be a WinRAR file. Um, this is just the map you want, say. You go to downloads, it should be... Da -da 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 -da. Do, 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 where it is, London Stadium, there it is, so you're going to go to extract here, and then I'll show you what else to do, so extract here, you know, as you do, as you do, and then once you've extracted that, you're going to go to the bottom, so it's going to be there, you're going to copy this, 
like that. Go to do, 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 go to this PC ASR users. Go to your user app data roaming dot Minecraft saves and literally paste um, the world into your saves just like this. So it should almost be done there. Come on. There you go, London Stadium's in there. So now if I launch Minecraft, uh, I'll be able to go on West Ham Stadium. Quick tutorial on how to do that there. All right, let's back off that. All right, anyway, so back to the awesome bit. What we're gonna need to do is launch MC Edit. So you see MC Edit here. Uh, what we're gonna do is click on MC Edit there, and it should just do all this stuff. There we are, it's launching MC Edit. Um, and once it's launched, it should go create new world, load, quick load, open Wembley. We shouldn't say Wembley, but uh, quick load, uh, go to London Stadium, load, and then we're gonna wait some time because it takes some time to load. Okay, so once it's loaded, it should look something like this. Well, whatever world you've chosen to do. Uh, it should look like this. Um, the London Stadium is a massive stadium, so it's going to take a little time to load, especially when I'm recording a game. I'm uh, not even recording a game, recording on my computer. So, this is the London Stadium. As you can see, it's loading in very, very slowly. Um, so, yeah, what we're going to do is I'm going to actually start dragging. Uh, so, you want to drag, drag everything you want. So, uh, say. Uh, go up to there. Um, that should just be dragged like that. So what we're gonna do is just drag it along to the ends here. Drag it all the way to this side. Um, so so it's gonna. I'm gonna have make it cover the whole stadium. So um, you'll see what I mean in a second. Okay, guys. So this might look like nothing much, really. It's just because the chunks haven't loaded in, and um, because I'm recording it, it'll. This is a uh, this is the full West Ham Stadium. Do not fear. It's just um, not showing properly, as you can see. There it is, and this is the back of it and all that stuff. So, um, if you're not familiar with MC Edit or how to control everything, just watch this tutorial on it. It should tell you everything you need about it. So, once you select the whole area that you want, uh, what you're going to do is delete entities. You do not want any entities that tra are traveling from PC to pocket edition because you might mess the whole thing up as you can see uh, it does take takes some time to do the entities so um, as you can see there it is entities are done entities are done so what you're gonna need to do after is go to exports now um, it should say copy in that that's how many blocks uh, this stadium is you don't need to do a stadium of course you can do like um any other kind of world you want to do. I'm just picking a stadium to do because most people want to know how to do stadiums and how to get them in the pocket edition and stuff. So this is how you do it. Get export and just wait five, four, three, two, one. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, all right. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna save this to our desktop, right? And it's we're not gonna have an NBT. You want it in schematic file. So you want to click schematic. I'm just gonna put West Ham, West Ham as the name, and then once you've done that, make sure it's got save as type Minecraft schematics. Once it's done, save, and then it should um, be like, "Oh, we're saving, we're saving this." Okie dokie. Just um, don't mind me. It's just saved. All right, there you go. So once we're done with that, um, you want to go to menu, open with the three dots, and then you want to find the world we just downloaded with the thing. So it should be on our desktop. Should be called Pocket Edition Stone Map, um, Stone Flat Map. I think it's meant to say flat, but mm. so you want to go to this here, and you want to go level dot dat. You're gonna open. Don't save. You don't need to save it. It's fine. Just leave that. Leave that. I don't want to save that. And then we should have. This is a Pocket Edition world, and we should have a massive stone layout as we have here. Um. You uh, this is a pretty big map, so you should be able to fit out fit really any stadium you want. But I think there's a limit of 1,280 blocks by 1,280 blocks, so it can't be any bigger than that. But if it's not, then you're all good. So you want to go to imports, 
and then you want to go to let's go back so desktop and then you want to get the west end dot schematic or whatever you called it dot schematic you want to go open and then it should have this massive green thing here uh, this is you just want to click on that like that um, it's gonna, not going to look like anything at the moment because it's all rendering in but as you can see the West Ham Stadium is there it's all coming in nicely. Do not worry. Do not worry. You want to go to chunk align, uh, chunk align, uh, to make sure it fits in properly. And then you want to go to um, you want to just um, import. And then once that should import, we're going to be set and we're all going to be good, pretty much. So we've almost done it now. We've almost done it. So just wait for it to import, I guess. Okay, so once it's imported, it should be all red, and then it should all load. Yay, look, West Ham Stadium. Oh, loving this, loving this. Good old pikey, ikey, ikey, ikey. I don't know if I did the roof too high or not, or whether it all fits. I think it all fits. That's good. The West Ham Stadium is here. So you want to go deselect there, and there you go. West Ham is all looking mighty good. All right, so anyway, this is a Pocket Edition World, so we just transferred... The stadium from uh, the normal world to the pocket edition world. So what we're going to do now is go menu. We're going to go to save. And then it should save lighting. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, guys. So once that's saved, it should all be red and very mysterious. And yeah, just um, it's just converting the blocks to pocket edition. So don't mind that. All of this stuff is too good to turn back to normal color. As you can see... This is all going back to normal colour. Don't worry, chunks haven't um, really done this stuff yet, but that's all good. Right, so once we've done that, you want to quit out of MC Edit. That Our job is done there. We're done. We're do I don't need to go back to MC Edit again unless you want to get another world. So right now, this folder has the West Ham Stadium on it. Um, and that's all good. So what we're going to do now is make sure you have a USB cable. You are plugging your USB cable from your computer to your phone or tablet or whatever you have Minecraft Pocket Edition on. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go into here. So you want to go into your folders here, quick access, do 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 do. You want to go to Galaxy S6 because that's what I've got. So you want to go onto Galaxy S6 or iPhone or whatever it's called. You want to go to phone. It might be different if it's your phone, but hopefully you should see a games folder no, nonetheless. Go to games.com, Mojang, Minecraft Worlds, and these are your worlds for, um, these are your worlds for uh, Pocket Edition. Let me just rename this to Wembley so nobody gets confused. Alright, so what we are going to do now is we are going to place... Where is it? This little world into there. Um, it should take a little bit of time to transfer. Sorry. To transfer um, over into your to your stuff. Your good stuff. Your good, 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 good stuff. And then once it's transferred over, you're all nice and you're all good. And yeah, you've got Pocket Edition Stone Flat Map there. Blah, 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 1020, oh, sorry, the max was 1024 by 1024, not 1280, that's, that's thumbnail size, sorry. Um, that's not even thumbnail size, that's 1920 times 1080. <laughs> anyway, uh, so once you've done that, you're all set and you're ready to go. So, now, let's launch Minecraft Pocket Edition. Okay, guys, so now you've noticed my camera has changed angles and whatnot, and, you know, everything's looking cool, you got... Uh, I've loaded Minecraft Pocket Edition as you can see on the screen. I've got version 0.15.4 because I know it definitely works with that. I don't know if it works with any other versions, like any higher versions, because I know it's changed a little. So um, this I'm using a low down edition because I'm not sure about the other one. I'm not sure the other version has a games folder, which is why it's a bit weird. So anyway, just go down to this version. Um, link will be in the description of this Minecraft version, so if you want to download that. I don't put any viruses, trust me, I know my stuff. It's easy, uh, but yeah, so what you're gonna do is go on to play, obviously, and um, sorry, um, I did a recording of this and it failed, so this, normally your world would be blank, so it would have no name, and it'd be at the bottom of your screen, at the bottom of the world's list. Uh, right now it's at the top of my world's list because, failed recording, yeah. Anyway, um, 
So what we're going to do is we're going to launch this world. As you can see, it will normally take a while to load in the world, but um, for me, it's not because I've already loaded in. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, anyway, as you can see, we are in the London Stadium. Boom, boom, boom. Awesome. Done. Everything's cool. Yeah. And uh, that wasn't really a good dab. This is boom. Thank you. I know dabs are out of date, but who cares? Um, we are in the West Ham Stadium and it's all looking good. Everything's all worked. This is Minecraft Pocket Edition. Um, let's see West Ham. Um, he got tunnels there. He got blah, 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 blah. This is a PC world, which I've gotten onto Minecraft Pocket Edition. So, guys, it's worked. I've hoped it works for you as well. Um, and yeah. So, anyway, guys. Uh, shout out to Camo XY. He just commented on one of my videos saying this looks amazing, bro. Well, I guess he's talking about uh, Wembley Stadium. I just did part 15 on that. If you want to go check that out. <laughs> anyway, um, this is gonna conclude the video. Hope you um, you knew what I was talking about. I think I made it clear enough. I think. Um, so yeah, guys, if you want to download any PC World, I've got ya. I know what I'm doing, and you can convert it to Minecraft Pocket Edition. I don't know if you can convert it to any other editions. Or, don't know. It only works for Pocket Edition, so yeah. Meh. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Um, if it did work for you, please subscribe and like the video. This really helped me out. And um, yeah, it's, uh, I, you know I need the subs. Joking. I'm jo all jokes aside. Thank you for 1,000 subscribers. We have just hit that. That is bonkers, craziness in the hood, in the house, in the city. And yeah. So, um, thank you guys for 1,000 subscribers. Uh, on to the new year. And on to 2,000 subscribers. That's my goal. Anyway. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to happen. Probably not. But you never know. Anyway. Thank you guys for watching. My name's been Come to Get Your Plays. And I will see you in the next video. Peace out, my people.